This webinar highlights the surface trimming functionality in Geomagic Design X. I appreciate you joining us today and I hope you'll be able to join us again on future Product Spotlights webinars as well. Once again, thank you for joining us today and now I will pass it on to Tobias Klein, a Geomagic Product Specialist, as he is leading today's demonstration. Tobias, it's all yours. Thanks Ralph and hello everybody. Today we want to have a closer look at the surface trimming and cutting functionalities and different approaches in actual applications. Surfaces are mostly used when solid modeling alone wouldn't be leading to the desired outcome. So for example in freeform areas. In order to work with surfaces and solids in a hybrid modeling approach, trimming and cutting operations are needed that are able to treat completely enclosed surface sets as solid bodies or, in other words, treat surfaces as open solids. The more complex a shape is, like tube intersections or complex enclosures, the most likely is the use of surface trimming or related operations. Surfaces are mostly used for organic features or if the complexity of the model requires it. Often is it faster and simplifying the model when the surfaces and trim operations are used which in effect also reduces the modeling cost. In today's demonstration, we first want to have a look at some surface trimming concept before we look at other trimming and cutting operations involving surfaces in a more hybrid modeling approach. So here we are inside DesignX and here we have two cylindrical surfaces which intersect in a no specific position, just arbitrarily overlapping each other, which can be a real world scenario. And in this case, we want to make a surface trimming between the two uh, cylinders. To do that, we have the function uh, trim surface. And we can select one uh, surface as a tool and another surface as a target. So the tool is basically cutting the target and we select the part that should uh, remain. And the other part is cut away and the same thing we can do again. This time we choose the already uh, processed uh, surface as a tool and the other one as a target and next we choose the remaining part. So uh, here we have still two uh, separate surfaces uh, which we can sew together with the sew command. We go to the next step and finally we can apply a fillet here. In this case we apply a face fillet choosing the uh, direction and face and direction and choosing what we want to do to the face fillet here for example a constant width and constant curvature. So we have a nice uh, fillet blend around here. Another method to use trimming without the separate sew command we can use the trim surface function without choosing targets by just choosing two tools and in the next step just choosing the two remaining parts of the surface and this will automatically sew the surfaces together. So finally we can apply the fillet choosing the faces and the directions. The same thing can be uh, even more simplified uh, because we have a uh, function inside the face fillet which is trimming and merging uh, two surfaces. If uh, there are just two surfaces without any segmentation we can just pick the surface and select the direction. Pick the surface and select the direction of the fillet and then we can see the fillet is flowing completely around and in the direction uh, this arrow points we can trim uh, the surface. So basically whatever is inside will be trimmed away. And this is the result. We used only one function instead of the other four. The other trim and merge function is available in the mirror command. The mirror command can 
basically mirror uh, body, surface body over a uh, central plane. And then you can choose trim and merge. And in the trim and merge command, you can also choose which side you want to keep the uh, short side mirrored, or in this case, the long side mirrored, which makes more sense in this case. And also you can define the tangent continuous faces. So in case you have more faces, you can pick the face which should be tangent uh, to the uh, mirrored face. And this is mirroring and trimming and merging. Another way of uh, trimming surfaces is used in the solidify command. In this case, we have the silhouette of this fan blade in this uh, 2D uh, mesh sketch here. And it is an uh, extrusion surface and uh, the upper and lower mesh fit surface. And those three surfaces enclose a volume. And so we can use the solidify command is under insert surface solidify. So we select those surfaces and what we get is a solid, which we can then use to complete the model using pattern, for example. So with this model of a turbo wheel, we want to have a look at some other trimming and cutting techniques. In this case, I already segmented the uh, curvature and uh, created several regions uh, using the auto segmentation. And based on those curvature regions, I already extracted uh, mesh fit surfaces of uh, one of those uh, blades, front and back. And I already extracted uh, sketches. So this is basically uh, one sketch is a revolutionary sketch uh, based on a silhouette of this uh, turbo wheel. So in this case, we can get uh, the chamber sketch, the outer and the inner chamber line. And we can get the lower profile here and uh, the outer uh, profile of the hub and the inner profile of the hub. Uh, second sketch is an extrusion sketch, which is basically the outer silhouette and the uh, profile of this uh, polygon shape. So we have those two mesh fits and we have an extrusion body. The extrusion body of the outer uh, line is extruded until the top and until the bottom. So we have basically everything enclosed in this volume. Next we have revolutions, revolution surfaces. So from every uh, sketch I created a revolution surface and also we have an extrusion surface which is this polygon. So now we want to get started and cut and trim. So basically the first step is cutting solids by uh, surfaces. So cutting a solid by surfaces, we can choose a tool entity. In this case, we want to have this hub surface um, cutting the solid. And we want to keep both upper and lower part. In this case, the tool is uh, intact, keeps intact, so we can hide it, we can reuse it if we want. And we have two parts of the solid now. Next thing is we can use this surface. This surface is basically, um, as it's a surface, but uh, the inside points inward and the outside points outward. And what is inside can be considered as a volume. It's just not closed, it's an open volume in this case. But we can treat it as a volume because everything inside my uh, solid is basically closed by the uh, limit of the solid. So we can treat it as a solid and we can use the Boolean function and we can just cut away using this as a tool and our 
space as a target, so we can just cut the hub away. The next surface is this one. We could do the same because this is also the inner side of the open solid. This would be the outside of the open solid. Here we would have the inside of the open solid, so we cu could cut away this area. But we could also use the function thicken surface, and in this case we can just thicken into a specific direction. So thicken into this direction about a specific uh, thickness, make the surface uh, basically a volume, and then cut away what's inside this volume. So for the uh, lower area, let's hide those two surfaces, this one and this one. <clears throat> and here we can see those two need to be trimmed first. So I need to trim the surface, this one and this one. And again, this one and this one. And now the surfaces are trimmed at this position and I can again cut or boolean. In this case I could do a boolean cut. Whenever I do a boolean cut the surface is treated as a solid and in boolean cuts the tool solid is gone. So in this case also the surface is gone. So here is our um, hub and we have the other solid which we can use for the blades. So now let's have a look at uh, how we can get, uh, how we can make those blades. So the first thing is we move the upper face down. In this case it's uh, not cutting, it's just moving this face. so that we have the upper end here. And then we can use those two mesh fit surfaces. And then let's see in which quadrant uh, it, uh, it lies. And then we can cut away the other quadrants first using the cut function and using our planes as tools, using this as a target and then keep this quadrant and again use the uh, cutting tool. And get this as a, keep a long press and then you can select this body. So this would be our blade and now we can hide those. So now let's see what we got. So we get the hub and we get our blade. Now all we need to do is a pattern operation. So this would be this body and this would be the rotation axis, basically a face or a vector, doesn't matter. You can choose the vector as well. And appropriate number of uh, instances, in this case it's 16. And again, let's see what we got. Let's hide the uh, turn off the transparency to see. So this is basically our uh, impeller. Thanks to BS. And this brings us to the end of our Geomagic Design X product spotlight webinar, which walks you through the surface trimming functionality. You heard about freeform surfaces, hybrid modeling, tube intersection, and complex enclosures in Design X. Please be on the lookout for invitations to future product spotlights. Thank you again for joining us and have a good rest of your day. Goodbye.